Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. We've got a great workout for you today. First, we're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna practice some skill work along with some strength work. For our first part, we're gonna to pair toes to bar with wall balls. I'm gonna show a variation uh, for the toes to bar, a scale for knees to 90, and then I'll also show V-ups and knee ins in case you don't have access to a pull-up bar. And then for the wall balls, in case you don't have access to a wall ball, I'll just demo with a kettlebell for those. After we do that, uh, we'll have a quick little two minute transition and then we'll go 30 on, 30 off, three rounds of each. We're gonna go cardio or you can jump rope or do penguin claps if you don't have access to a rope. We're gonna go cardio and then box jumps or step ups or if you don't have access to a box, broad jumps. Back to our cardio and then we're gonna go weighted PVC clusters or right arm uh, dumbbell or kettlebell clusters. Back to our cardio and then lastly, we'll go empty barbell clusters, and, or if you're at home, left arm, dumbbell or kettlebell clusters, okay? So first, let's go over to the rig and talk about our toes to bar. So for these guys, when you get set up, ideally, we're gonna jump into our hollow body position, but since the bar is a little higher for me, I'm gonna start with my uh, standing on the box and get my hands situated. So my hands are gonna be just outside my shoulders, I'm going to wrap my thumbs around the bar to secure it. From there, I'm going to go into an arch position, hollow. I'll bring my hips up and tap the bar with both toes. If that's too challenging, what I want you to do is go knees to 90 or chest area. So same idea, arch, hollow. If you don't have access to a pull-up bar, what I want you to try are some V-ups. So for this, I'm gonna start in my nice hollow body position here. I'm gonna crunch up, touch my toes, and keep my legs straight. If that's too challenging, I want you to bend the knees and do some hollow body knee ends. So I'm basically thinking about crunching right over the center of my mats. For our wobbles, you're gonna get set up about an arm's distance from the wall. Feet are gonna be in a wider stance for my squat. From here, I'm gonna pull the elbows underneath the bar, squat, hit my target. So I'm thinking about throwing the ball at an angle so that it hits the wall, bounces right back to me basically it helps to push me down into that next uh, wall ball. If you're at home and you don't have access to a wall ball, you can use a dumbbell or kettlebell. For this, I would suggest holding the kettlebell like so, and then you can squat and press. Just make sure to get the chin out of the way so you don't hit yourself. cardio, uh, ideally we'll jump rope. If you don't have access to a jump rope, we'll go penguin claps. For the penguin claps, uh, you want to make sure that you're bouncing on the balls of your feet, clapping your hips two times. Wild and air, that's the important part. For our box jumps or step ups, what I want you to do is get set up about a foot distance from the box. You're going to push the arms back, slow it up, stand all the way at the top of the box. If you need to scale, you're just going to step up, stand all the way at the top, and then switch legs. If you're at home and you don't have access to a box, what you're going to do is a broad jump. So for this, I just want you to think about jumping as far as possible okay, on the ground. So I'm going to get set up here, stick my landing, stand all the way up, I would do a reverse jog back to my start and go again. Next one is our weighted PVC cluster. So this is like a thruster, but worse because we also have to clean the bar. So hands are gonna be outside of the hips, knees pushed out. We're gonna push the butt back. I'm going to jump under into a squat and press. My next rep, Come all the way back down to the ground. Lock out, make sure that the 
those ears are covered by the biceps. Make sure that your hips are going below the knees. If you're at home, you're just going to grab one of your weights, set it up in between the feet, and then you'll cluster with one arm. You'll come back down, tap one head, clean thruster. The next time around, we're going to go into barbell, or if you're at home, I should do the opposite arm with that dumbbell or kettlebell. From there, we'll take about three to five minutes to finish warming up for our clusters. For the workout, it's going to be three minute intervals. So you have three minutes on, three minute rest, four rounds. You're going to start with seven of those clusters. 135 is the RX for the guys, 93 for the ladies. Or if you're at home, double dumbbell or kettlebell clusters. 50s in each hand for the guys, 35s in each hand for the ladies. After that, we're gonna go 10 box jumps, 30 inches for the guys, 24 inches for the ladies. If you're at home, uh, do 10 broad jumps. After these two movements, I want max calories in the time remaining. So whatever you chose in the warm up, whether it was row, ski, or bike, that's what I want you to do with workout. If you're at home and don't have access to a machine, I want max double unders or those penguin claps. Your score is gonna be your total number of calories or double unders or penguin claps across all four rounds. Some things to keep in mind. You should have about a minute to earn as many calories or reps as possible. If not, if you have a lot more time, then the weight was probably too light, but more likely you'll have less time, which means the weight's too heavy. So reduce the weight if you need to, and or maybe you need to adjust the box height or maybe switch to step ups to get those um, 10 reps in. Lastly, for our daily mobility, you're gonna foam roll. I want a minute each. We're gonna go right quad, then left quad, and then we'll go inner thigh, right side, left side, and then calves. For the quad, you're just gonna get set up in a plank position, rolling back and forth over the foam roller. For the inner thigh, what you need to do is just turn the foam roller uh, vertically, bring it up, bring the knee up towards the top of the foam roller, go into your plank position, and then just go back and forth over that inner thigh. And then lastly, for the calves, you can do both of these together at the same time. You're just going to prop yourself up and then roll back and forth over those calves. So today, guys, uh, be sure to put in the comments your score, which is your total calories or reps, and then any modifications that you made to the workout. You can also put this in Zen Planner. Uh, if you have any questions about anything for today, please let us know. As always, move well, good luck, and have fun.